Hello everybody, this is Aseto the Forerunner Pony, also known as FHRC Brony. And today, I keep saying this multiple times that I haven't posted RC content for a while. And it's true, but like I said, I didn't really give up RC. I am pretty much back into it more than before. And uh, I went to my local hobby shop just recently and just get my, I got myself some uh, wheels and tires for my Traxxas Bandit build. I actually have one set already on the on on the buggy already. And if you actually guys are wondering what I'm actually what I'm actually watching over here on my TV, um, I actually have my Xbox on because I'm actually watching Ultimate RC. Yes, Jang from Ultimate RC. He's actually doing Legos now. He hasn't really done a lot of RC videos lately since 2013, but I still watch his videos because they're awesome. The rubbing alcohol is to uh, at least wipe down this bead area because if you don't do that you're going to um, not have a perfect adhesive because uh, and plus tire glue actually um, bonds pretty fast okay I pretty much wiped down both sides of the tire uh, the tire bead and look uh, look at that nasty stuff right there I'm not too sure if that's mold release, but I noticed the tire was kind of like um, yellowed on the side. It's just kind of disgusting. Looks like somebody vomited. Looks like vomit, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, that's what it did. I'm actually going to do an, an, another round of using rubbing alcohol just to, you know, just to be safe. Just to play on the safe side. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay. I already did two rounds of using the rubbing alcohol just to with the towel just to wipe off the bead and to make sure it's cleaned uh, if you actually notice that my tire actually has this um, little flange on the top um, I, they said to just cut, cut it off with with some scissors so I'm not really not really into that cutting stuff because once this once this thing starts to drive anyways it's gonna be it's gonna be gone anyway so I'm not gonna even bother but um, but if this was your tire I, I, I don't see why not but for me I'm just gonna leave it as it is but if you want to remove it you can just use scissors stuff like that so it's no big deal so I'm gonna do this uh, this tire off camera and as you can see this one's a little bit dirty as you, as you can see so I'm actually gonna use more rubbing alcohol and then just uh, clean off the tire the beat of the tire and then put this thing back on and then we can go ahead and glue the tire onto the wheel okay um, both tires are now free from that mold release thing which I don't know it's that nasty stuff what I'm gonna do now it's gonna reinsert the, the bead from what I've learned from other RC RC hobby is is they they do the tire they do the tire of uh, foam insert like this and they just do that and then what they can what they're gonna do is they're just gonna go put the foam insert right onto the tire itself like that so now just make sure that the bead is the foam insert is within the bead sorry if I kind of went off frame there so um, it will now look something like that and then all you just need to do is just to spread the bottom out like so there you go um, I must say if you guys own a a short course truck an RC short course truck like the Traxxas Slash um, the HPI Blitz uh, associated SC10 I believe or pretty much any RC short course trucks Usually, within in those applications, they're usually um, uh, stag, staggered. I think that's the right term. Staggered uh, bead setup. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to say is the outer bead is usually smaller, and sometimes the other the other uh, bead, the other size is usually larger. Let me go grab my one of my tracks of slash uh, wheels and tires, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here is my uh, Traxxas Slash um, wheel. And as you can see, this bead right here is smaller. But if you flip it over, this one is bigger. So 
you want to actually put the tire, uh, if you're gonna be working on short course style wheels and tires, you gotta uh, make sure that this side, the big side is facing towards the inside of the vehicle. So if this was on a truck or, or a car, um, this is gonna be towards the inside and this one's gonna be the one that's facing out. So you just gotta just leave it and get it in there. And eventually just get it over those two dimples. Then once they're in, they're in. But not really quite in yet. As you can see, oops, I, I kind of made a made a mistake right there. Okay, there we go. Much better. Okay, the tire is now installed on the wheel. I know that's pretty bright because it's the uh, the wheel itself is white. And there you go. There's no imperfections. There's no imperfections there. Sometimes not everybody is going to be perfect, but um, mine actually turned out pretty pretty well. Okay, um, so I'm pretty much done with this side of the tire already. As you can see, I am literally trying to pull it as all, all I can without even trying to go really hard on it. And most of it's actually not coming out. All right, so that's pretty much it. I already glued both sides already. I already glued this side already on camera and also also on camera, but in time-lapsed. I also glued this side already. Um, honestly, some people don't like to do this. Sometimes they like to buy uh, RC tires and wheels as they are, um, all pre-glued. But you know, this is actually another little extra thing that you pretty much uh, want to do in the future, especially if you want to make your own custom RC. Um, like, you can maybe put Traxxas Anacondas on these kind of buggy tires, uh, buggy wheels and stuff like that, but uh, pretty much with this kind, you can pretty much uh, use your imagination. Which one do you actually want? It's all about personalization. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Uh, I will be making some more RC videos whenever I can, guys. Um, I've been really busy with Forza uh, projects and also uh, work. Uh, but aside from that, uh, I have not given up with RC. I'm still doing it and I still enjoy it. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys again soon.